the plan for tonight? Okay, so nice little scenery. Um, that's the plan anyway. I'm just gonna sort of, I've got an idea what I'm gonna do, but I, you never know with me, I change stuff, so. Right, we're gonna start with some magic white. So we're gonna do a wet on wet style, obviously. Got some paint bogies in there. Hello everyone, Light, Lightning, how you doing? Yeah, secret pet commission completed. Oh, lovely jubbly. Well done, I'll check it out. I have been, I have been in and out, but I've been so busy. It's hard to keep up with things. In between making videos and editing as well, I was just having the time. Right, here we go. Normally I do this before I come on, come on, but I thought I might as well just do it, do it now. So there's not much to see at the moment, but hopefully there will be in a bit. And I'll tell you what, let's clamp this board in position, otherwise it's gonna go everywhere. Sarah, I'm gonna get some Bob Ross realness here. <laughs> how you doing? Crystal, Crystal Snow, how you doing? What's everyone been up to today? They would have been working or you had a day off or Scorn's been doing some art, I guess. Completed a, a piece, that's always good. So just get this little boring, well it's boring for you guys. I don't mind doing this, but. So yeah, this is a coat of magic white to begin with. And uh, we should be painting on top of wet paint on top of wet paint. So here we go. Look at this, I've got my green my green top underneath my painting top. <laughs> Keep tapping the screen for us guys if you can. Let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. No, don't sing, don't sing, just paint. Don't sing, just paint. Okay, so we're pretty best to go all different kinds of ways on here so you make sure you get the cameras absolutely coated. Which I think we're there now, so we can start throwing some paint on. Right, we're gonna get a nice little sky on there, we're gonna whack some blue about. We're gonna whack some blue about and see, let's make a nice little happy sky. Let's go for some uh, phalo blue. So a little bit of that on the board. Not too much. And let's put some paint in here then. How is everybody? Where's everyone watching from? That's what I want to know. I like to know where you're watching from. The other night we had Iceland when I was doing Northern Lights, so that was quite cool. So let's uh, put some blue about. tapping the plain brush I put the white on so so I'm just leaving some little white areas just thinking where some clouds might be I might just sort of leave that like that or put some clouds on I don't know yet make it a bit dark up the top okay let's have a look um, cool okay Penny N-E-U-K, Inverness in the Highlands, lovely Callum. I've got a mate who lives up there. Uh, Anna, West Sussex and Scorn Bedfordshire. Yeah, Scorn. Not far from me, really. <laughs> Not far away at all. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna have some water in this painting or not, I don't know. So maybe I should just I don't know, I don't know, let's do the sky first, because I could put some water in now, but let's just try and fluff some of this out. Uh, rice lip, that's not too far either. Warwickshire, says Daisy. Cardiff. Alberta, Canada. Pembrokeshire. Nice to have you all here, guys. Really appreciate it. Let's do a happy little painting together. I hope you've got time to stay. So yeah, I am in Buckinghamshire in the UK, Buckinghamshire. Okay, so 
let's just so I'm just blending this out a little bit I'm just doing a happy little sky see I left sort of white patches there that's where I can sort of put some clouds just got to keep going to these brush strokes have disappeared. There. Make sure I get underneath there. It's an awkward little bit underneath there. But as long as you remember to get it, that's the main thing. Yeah, I'm going to put some little happy fluffy clouds in, I think. There, we've got a nice, nice blue sky there um hull e-sources to charlotte june berry how are you i'm good thanks we've got tamworth jack how you doing nice to have you back a uh, stone throw away yeah literally uh south Oxfordshire says the taxi driver next door to you yeah that ain't far are you self-taught yes i started last year march 2022 i was in your life uh, last night and forgot to post a pic of my drawings to show you yeah do it jack do it Keep tapping the screen for us, guys. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can zoom up to quick a quick 2K. We need to do that to keep the stream alive. Keep the stream alive and keep the dream alive. Right, I don't know if I'm having water yet, so I might do. I can add that in a minute. But let's put some little fluffy clouds in, shall we? So I've got some titanium white. And I'm just going to put a bit of that on the palette. Gonna take a little fan brush. So at the moment I've just used blue and white. There's a little bit of blue on here, but it doesn't matter. This is really, really thick paint. And I'm just gonna it's quite a lot on there. I'm just gonna dab this in and see what we're doing. What we're doing tonight. Jack, I'm doing a nice little scenery. I'll probably have some mountains, maybe some water, I don't know. I'm going to sort of make it up as I go along. Okay, let's... I need more paint than that. This is such thick paint. Some nice fluffy clouds. I need more paint already, wow. Let's do one around here. It's good to get them little wispy bits, you know? Let's have him coming flat like that. Okay. Right, okay, with a... Right, now we just wanna... I got this little brush the other day, look how cute that is. <laughs> little cute one. Right, so I just want to fluff this out. Uh, Adam, did you learn through Bob Ross? Yeah, I watched Bob Ross, a lot of Bob Ross, and I still do. So, so I'm just blending these out a little bit. I'm leaving the top bit, top bits in. I'm just blending it out towards the bottom. We could probably just do a little bit more white at the top of some of them clouds to get some real sort of... Ah, it's instantly coming out blue, it's too wet, never mind. We could probably put a bit of magic white on it, but that's okay. Okay, now let's, um, let's just fluff these out a little bit. So I'm just going to pull up. Just pulling up here, that's all I'm doing. And you can see them little stringy things sticking out. And then we just go that way. Some real thick paint there. There we go. Fluff that out. We've 
got some nice fluffy clouds. <laughs> Don't them clouds look lovely? It's another one of my favourite things to paint. I don't do enough of them, really. They do it in a half circular motion. They really fluff them up, and then you can just go across like that. Look at them. Nice floaters. Not the floaters you're thinking, but nice floaty clouds. <laughs> Just keep going until you're happy. That is thick old paint I got there, I tell you. Yeah. Yeah, they're quite nice, I quite like them. Um, right, let's try and read some comments. Adam, love it, thank you. Next time you should do two cliffs with a bridge across in the middle with mountains in the back. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a bridge. I love art myself. How you doing, Lucy Lou? Um, they look real. Yeah, not bad. Sometimes you can put a bit of grey under there and that really does help. Make some mountains. Let's make some mountains. Thanks to everyone that's following. Thanks to everyone that's tapping the screen. Really appreciate that. If you can, just click share down there as well. And even if you just press copy link and don't send it anywhere, that helps massively. And uh, don't forget, you can click, click my profile picture. And underneath there is a link that will take you to all paints I buy and all sorts of stuff, my other social media. Well, I'm going to make sort of a grey, so I'll pick up the brown. So I've got a bit of black here, I'm going to do some sort of greyish mountains today. So a little bit of black. Get the palette knife. Looks like the white area is a beach and the blue is a sea. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good imagination just from that. Can you do some simple background birds, you'll see how you approach them. Taxi driver. I haven't done birds yet, but they're, I'd imagine they're quite simple. I might throw a few in at the end. Who knows? Let's make some grey here. That's quite a nice grey for a mountain. I've added, there was a tiny little bit of blue in there as well. That's quite nice. Pull it flat, cut across, get your roll of paint. Let's throw some mountains on. It's amazing what your um, eyes can do, really. Carlin, let's go, let's put some mountains on. Let's just scratch them in. We're just. So basically we're making the point here with the palette knife and then down here that's where we'll work doing other stuff. Let's have a little bit of a peek there. Okay. So we'll have that going around like that. So that's the basic shape of the mountains. Make him a bit taller. What's your name? I never knew. My name's Carl. Let's go. 2K likes. Let's go. Right, I think I'll use. I'll try and use a brush that I don't have to clean out later if I need to use it, but I think this one will be okay. Actually, let's see what other ones I've got. I'll just use this one to pull this down a bit. Okay, let's just... We want that lighter towards the bottom, you see. This is where you can sort of neaten up bits if you want to. So we've got the basic shape. Now we're going to pull that down. This is where you can determine where you want these sort of mountains. Tell you what, I just feel that this one needs to a little bit sort of higher, a little higher, a bit more of a peak on that one. Okay. So with a brush, you can sort of you can do 
which mountains in front of which mountain. So you could have that one coming in front of that one. So that's in the background. And this can come down like that. These you can have joined up. You could have that one coming down there in front. So we're gonna do some joined up ones though. All right, now that this is where it's mixing with the blue now. So you can see the change of color. We're gonna do make some mist out of that. So that'll be fine. I'll show you. Let's do some missing. Um, you're very talented. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. How old are you? Oh, not that old. Not that young. Look what I've just done. Lent on the lent on the lid. It's a new form of COVID. Oh gosh. Right, okay. So here you can miss this out. You see, it's very great. Some mountain mist. But I'm going to miss this again anyway, but I'm just showing you. But we're going to put some snow on. You can create some lovely mist. Anyway, let's get some snow on the mountains. Some snow. Let's have them quite snowy, shall we? So I'm going to get some white again. Doesn't matter if there's a tint of blue in there. How old am I? Oh, I've just read that one. So I've just got to go now but i'll watch tomorrow thank you that's all right it'll be uploaded to um youtube the whole thing will be uploaded to youtube if you're new here go and check out my youtube channel all, my, all my live streams are uploaded there so i'm just getting some white little cut across let's put some snow on so let's think where we want this snow let's go there That's coming all the way down there. Shh. Let's have some coming down here. This is where I need to move the board out because I keep catching the, the bottom on the board there. Uh, thanks everyone for tapping the screen, following. Um, I've got a gift goal up there guys if you want to help out and you can also subscribe. Um, do press copy link and help me out if, if you can't do any of that. Just press share, copy link, you don't have to do anything else. And just tap the screen like mad, guys, let's go. Let's put some snow on this mountain. Let's have that one coming in front of that one. We can put some nice little low lights on. Low lights, I call them low lights. Some shadows. We are making mountains. Bob Ross is a damn, he's there, man. <laughs> wow, thank you so much, everyone. Could watch all day, so therapeutic. Yeah, this is why I'm doing it, because I love it, it's, it's so therapeutic. Let's have this one coming out here. Let's have a ridge. Thanks, anyone following, thank you so much. Let's have another little sort of, maybe, Bit of a, that one comes around there, right in front and up and then down. Thanks for any gifts that's been sent. Thank you to, to new followers. Much appreciated. All those sharing and tapping the screen, I really appreciate it. So I'm just using oil paints. Um, that's basically what I've been using since last year. You can put anything anywhere you like really on these. There, look. Nice, beautiful mountains. Now this white I'm using has picked up some gray underneath. So it's actually gray. But it looks obviously quite white on the screen. The sound effects get me every time. <laughs> Penny, I can't help it. I can't help it. I can't help but do these sound effects. It helps me paint. So we've got a little bit there. Maybe that one comes down there. We can put some other color in there. We'll put some blue in there. Maybe just a little bit of white here and then we'll pull Pull, pull down with some other highlight colour there. So we'll come back to that bit. 
all night quite dark there and misty, so. Okay, so. So this is, this is the white here that I made the clouds with and it picked up the blue from, the, from there already. So I'm gonna mix this together and I've got some blue there. I'm gonna make some darker blue and that'll be like the shadow color. And it, it really does transform. Let's mix it up with this. It really does transform. Got a little bit of black in there, that's okay. That's quite nice. Now watch this. Got a little roll of paint there. And this is where you can really change. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna make that a little bit darker. Not too darker. That's better. That's better. Didn't want it too bright. Yep, that's better. Okay. So we can put some, watch this, look at the way this changes. Tell you what, just use the small end of the knife and just cut across. Just put in them tiny bits and that really does give it depth. You see the colour change there. Uh, wonderful, congratulations, thank you so much. What is your advice on young artists? My advice is just give it a go. Don't be scared and keep going. That's the only way you're gonna learn. Uh, wow, it's amazing, love to draw it. People, it really stands out, it's real. Thank you so much, that's so good. Thanks everyone, I really appreciate it. There's, we've got about 470 people in here. If everyone tap the screen just once now, double tap the screen, we'll get 470 likes instantly. Let's see if we can zoom up to, zoom up to 5K. All right, here we go, guys. Thank you for the gifts. I've just appreci I appreciate the gifts so much. I've got a gift go up here if anyone wants to help out. And you can subscribe. You get like a little package or something. That helps me out, guys. Okay, here we go. I want this one curving in. I'm leaving some of that dark. We don't want to kill all the dark. We want some of that dark there. There we go. And now, now I said down this side, we can drag a little bit of that white down with it. Reminds me of Bob Ross. Yeah, this is where I, I, I've been watching Bob Ross for like last year or two. And I decided to give a go in March. Thanks everyone, I really appreciate it. Really appreciate you all being here with, wow, we're up to 6.4K likes. How many shares we've got? 18, let's see if we can get up to 50. Press the share and just copy link, that's it. You don't need to send it to anyone. Okay, now I might come here and just drag a bit of that down. This is all the shadows. No, I want that quite dark there, we'll just leave that dark. I'm gonna miss some of that out. You can add some little bits of dark here. You can do whatever you like. You can make little crevices. Doesn't that look nice? That looks nice. Right, let's do some misting out. I'm quite happy with that. This is amazing, thank you so much. Uh, Justine just got the number one gifter badge. Thank you so much, I really appreciate the gifts, guys. Much appreciated. Always watch Bob Ross, yeah, he's, um, you know, an inspiration. And guys, don't forget, um, if you click my profile picture, it takes you to my profile picture on, uh, on my profile on TikTok, and underneath there's a link, and that link takes you to wonderful places where I buy my paint, all my other social media, you can support me. And YouTube is brilliant because you can watch every live stream back. And I post all of them on there and you can zoom in and pause so you can paint along with me. That's a great way to learn. A great way to learn. Yeah, Steve, uh, Steve FC, yeah. Check out my YouTube channel, that'll help you. 
Yes, Bob Ross not being limited to 25 minutes. Wow, how did you do that? One day I will. Mine normally take about an hour. A proper detailed one is about an hour and that's with chat, you know, I'm chatting as well, so. That's okay, you're welcome. Nearly at 10K likes, guys. Right, where's my little misty, misty brush? I think I was using... I can't remember what brush I was using to like mist it out. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Was it this one? I think it was. Yeah, this is the right, I'm gonna create some mist now. Let's just put that back. Because I don't want the painting falling over. <laughs> so it seems we've got a lot more people in here. The people that haven't said already, where are you watching from? It'd be nice to know where you're watching from. You can take this mist up as far as you like. You can bring it down as far as you like. See, we're creating lots of mist there. We're bringing it right up there. Tap, tap, tap. You see how the mist? We're bringing the mist around the mountain, around the bottom of the mountain. Just by tapping. Keep your brush clean and then swipe across and lift up a little bit. Very lightly, it literally is, as Bob would say, a couple of hairs and some air. And that gives us some nice mist to play with. There we go. Right, let's do some little foothills then, shall we? So I might use the same colour paint. Uh, okay, east of UK, uh, we've got South Wales, upstate North Western, oh nice. Uh, Owen Williams, Owen Williams, your painting is amazing. What are your best three tips for getting into oils? Um, watch stuff. You can watch my YouTube. Um, just dive in, dive in and give it a go. That's what I say in, in everything. Cause that's the real way you're gonna learn. And just keep going, never get up. Uh, get up, give, give up. Just never give up. Just keep going at it. Okay, so let's make some distant sort of hills here. I've got this grey from the mountain. I might just use this blue up as well. I'll put that in there. I've got like a, a grey sort of blue there. Like a light room. I'm just wondering if I need that any lighter, but I think that might be okay. Let's do, let's use that. And we're gonna put some nice little, just figuring out which brush to use, bear with me. Cause I've got so many of them. Um, something like, um, So many brushes to choose from, I don't know which one. I might even just use that brush that I was using to miss out. Um, there, well, let's just try. Well, you can make some little sort of foothills. You wanna leave some of that mist in. So these are sort of. Little tiny trees miles away. So I'm keeping the oil quite thick towards the top of the brush. And I'm not really worried about where it is down here, because we're gonna do another another mist. We're gonna have some trees in front of here anyway. There, look at that. I'll try and keep up with the comments, guys. It's mad tonight. Um, my granddad used to paint oil and love it. The effect you, yeah. I mean, I've done a few acrylics, but I, I 100% prefer, you know, everyone's different, but I 100% prefer oils because the blending, you watch some of the Northern Light videos I've done, you know, the way you can blend them is just absolutely amazing. Fantastic. Right, if I'm very careful, if I'm very careful, with a sort of dry brush, Half dry. If you're very careful, you can just lift some of them up 
and they look like little tops of trees, you know, way in the distance. You see that? I mean, it's tiny, so I don't know if you can see some of that. There we go, and then we're gonna miss this out. Again, we can do another layer. Let's just have that going off there like that. There we go. 11,000, guys. 11,000 likes. There. We got some more mist. And that was basically the colour that I used for the mountain. But I added a little bit of light blue. I'm trying to get some of this lighter here. And then we'll do another little layer. You see the, the mist and the fog? It helps give you distance, it really does. Um, but I'll try and read some of your comments. Art isn't always about painting exactly what you see. Just feel them. Yes, exactly. And you can get ideas from people. How do you expand an art TikTok account? Just keep creating videos. That's all I do. Just keep, keep creating videos. Live streams are good. Um, just keep going with that. Right, now I wanna make I wanna make another line of them, but just a bit darker. And this should give some depth to the painting. So we've got some black again, and some of the gray. I'm making a darker color, right? And I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of sap green, okay? The tiniest bit. Just so I know it's in there and it should give us something. Yeah, there we go. Look. So it's a darker colour. Got a little bit of green in there. There's a lot of paint in there, but it doesn't matter. Okay, there's a hint of green in there. So we'll do the same thing there. I bet you don't make mistakes, you have happy accidents. Absolutely. I've had a happy accidents live on stream. I, I don't care if it goes wrong. I really don't, because it's, it's all about learning. And it has gone wrong before, but I've, I've soon corrected it on, you know, as I'm doing it, or changed something. If you make a mess here, have a mountain there, have some trees there, cover it up. All right, let's think where we want these ones. Again, keeping the mist, keeping that mist there. This is another line of trees. And this is in the distance. An experiment with different brushes, guys. That's another good way. Doing these layers gives you depth in the painting. Thanks for all the likes. Thank you for everyone following. Thank you for any gifts. Much appreciated. My gift goal's up the top if you feel you want to support me. If you can't, then just tap the screen and copy link. That's, that supports me just as good. Well, I think we're there with that. And again, I've got some quite nice little um, things sticking up there, so I don't think I'll pull up on that one. And again, we'll just miss that out a little bit. It's nice to see you guys are chatting there as well in the in the thing, getting to know each other. Tap the screen like mad, guys. Let's go. Okay, so we're blending this. Let's get we've got a paint bogey. Get that off. All right, again, I'm gonna miss this out. This is one of the most enjoyable things to do getting the brushes out and just giving it a go. I came on not really knowing that. Sometimes it's, it's knowing what to paint. Sometimes you've got the, you can do it and you, you're just like, what do I paint? But again, we're gonna just pull some of that out. There. Okay, we can have trees that side. I've got a little bit of something there. 
take that off. Okay, so with a little light brush, I'm just gonna pull that out a bit. I'm gonna keep that for the blue. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Jenny, I cannot draw to save my life. You make it look so easy. <laughs> keep going with it, Jenny. Janie, Janie, thank you. Thanks, everyone. Okay, so I quite like the way that mist is, I think. I'm not going to pull it out too much. I keep getting this little... I don't know what it is. I call them paint bogies. Well, I've got rid of it. It's definitely got rid of now. Let's tap this out a little bit more gently and we'll move on to the next bit. Whatever that may be. Okay. So, let's move some of this paint up there. Right, let's do some, let's do some, hmm, what should we do? There's so much I could do, really. I think we should put some water in, just in case. I've got some um, blue here, and some green. That little bit of green I had. I'm gonna pull that together. So I've got blue and green there. Let's just put some water in and see what happens. So from this way. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet, but we're just putting water in. See if I can pick up a bit more green for that side. So I've got water there if I want it. I can muck about with that. So I've left that little sheen of light there. I'm just trying to think what to do here. Maybe some trees around there. Or do I have greenery and maybe some rocks and waterfall and stuff like that? Mm. You should go on Landscape Artist of the Year. <laughs> Do you sell art? Yes, um, I, I do. I've got lots to list, but um, you can, if you look underneath, if you, somewhere's my profile picture, somewhere is it there or up there? Um, you can click that and underneath there is my link. And that link takes you to ev all my social media, my shop, which is basically on eBay at the moment until I get a website running. And you can make, they're up on eBay. You can make offers. They're up there for bidding, but you can make an offer. And I'll just post them out too. That's what I've been doing. How do you do reflections in the water? Okay, let's show you. If you can stick around, um, let's show you. But I need to figure out what kind of land I'm having here. Just adding a bit more green. God, I need to pull straighter than that. Okay, okay let's just do some, um, if you wanna see water reflections, I can do that. So I've got a tint of green in there. We can have all sorts of um, all sorts of stuff going on. A bit more green and blue there. Okay, let's just go straight across now. That gives us a nice. Thing for some water there. Yeah, it's planning out the paint really. I don't know what, what I'll have some trees there maybe. Maybe some trees coming around there. We can have some big trees framing it. What to do here before I do the water. Maybe some another line of trees. We can do some little trees here. And have it quite distant. So they these ones would be a bit greener. Let's see if I can put some of them on there. And then we can do a little bit of land. And then we'll do water reflections. So I've got to do this first, but... Right, I'm knocking up a bit. What the hell is that? Thank you so much for the gift, whatever that was. That is amazing. I think that is the best gift I've ever had. <laughs> uh, Jamie, thank you very much, Jamie. Really appreciate that. Nice to have you back as well. I think that was just the best gift I've ever had. So, Jamie, you're a star. You're a star. 
Thank you so, so much. I am dancing in my seat. <laughs> Aisling, thank you so much. Wow, guys, you, you guys are absolutely amazing. Right, I'm literally knocking up a bit of green here. I don't want it too green, so you've got to try and figure out. You've got to make this colour so it's green, but like, because it's far away, I'm hoping this will be okay. I think I can probably get away with that. So it's like a grey green. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, here we go. Thanks guys for the, the um, gifts. I really appreciate that. And I, I'm gonna celebrate because I think that is my biggest ever gift. <laughs> How much to subscribe? I think it's four four I think it's four forty nine or four ninety nine a month. You can choose a month or you can choose it to continue, but it's up here. I'd be glad to have a third subscriber. And I normally sort of tell you when I'm going live and stuff like that, so. And of course, it, it really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Right, so I'm gonna get a little fan brush. Let's see what size fan brush I've got. Not too big. So we're just gonna go into the paint here. I'm proper loading it up here as well. Hopefully you can see that. You can see how loaded that up. Okay, so we want some little trees along here. So I'm just gonna put some little trees in. You can make these however you wanna make them. So these are, that's quite a good green actually against that. I just hope I've made enough of that color. And then we can fill that a little bit down there. And then we can make some land underneath, underneath that. So I'm literally just tapping the brush on here. It's that, that easy. Try and get the, I'm trying to get it into a sharp, a sharp sort of edge so you can really tap that on and get some nice tall trees as well. Oh, he's a big one, nice one. Yeah, a few up and down ones. And I think I might, I'll show you in a minute. There we go, look. Um, Je Hello, yeah, it's been a while. The, that 5K gift was Na Na Naila, was it? Naila, thank you so much, Naila. Naila, I'm so sorry if I missed, I missed it. It's the comments and I'm, I'm, um, Concentrating on painting and everything. Thank you so much for the gift. I'm, I'm sorry that I got it wrong Naila say hello, please in chat if you're still here You make it look so easy. I will subscribe on Friday. Oh Steve, that's very kind of you and I really appreciate it It'd be lovely to have you on board Okay, so we got our little line of trees there And this is just in front. So let's just do, do some bits like this we can just put some little land in there. Okay, so this will be fun in a minute. This is this is distant stuff. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, that is amazing. That is amazing. Naila, thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much. So kind. That was. I love that because I love cats. He's so talented. Oh, thank you so much. Guys, thank you, everyone. I'm feeling the love tonight. Thanks, uh, Naila. Isn't Naila such a nice name as well? Such a beautiful name. Okay, so, we've got a little line of trees there, and we've got the mist in between. Right, okay, so I've just received them gifts, and I'll be honest with you, I've never received gifts like that, so I'm a little bit, um, I need to calm down a little bit. Uh, I'm excited. <laughs> so, thank you so much. I need to compose myself. <laughs> I'm going to learn and jump into painting. I was scared before, but he said jump into it. Yes, go for it. 
just get your brush out and go for it. And don't worry about making mistakes. Don't worry about making mistakes. They're not mistakes, they're happy accidents, like Bob says. They really are, because you learn from it. Okay, let's think with what, what we got here. Now, if I want to do reflections here, um, it depends on how close these trees are. We can come a little bit closer and do like another layer. Okay. So there's another layer here, which I think will look better on this one. Not just one single line. So I'm just tapping some more on. And it doesn't matter that it's going into the, into the water. And as we get closer, we can have a few big ones. Or just frame it, you know, frame it with some stuff here. We can have all sorts of stuff going on. Let's do some reflections then. So I've got this paint, this brush, this paint, this grey. Let's just put a little bit of grey around here. Oh, this is a little bit, this is supposed to be from there. But it really wouldn't reflect too much because that's quite distant. So I'm just putting a little bit of grey, literally a little bit. And then I'm gonna pull them. It literally is a tiny bit of grey. Right, so now these trees I can pull down here. Just straight down. Straight down. All the way across. Like that. And then. Oh, uh, Naila, you're most welcome. Thank you so much, Naila. What happens when you uh, subscribe? Um, you get, um, it supports me, which is the number one thing, I think. Um, I think it's just like an appreciation thing. And you get like a little package or something, um, like um, as in emojis, you can have like different emojis. I think you get, you get a badge as well. And I'm not too sure what else, I need to look into that. So. So let's just pull down a little bit further with this. And then straight across. Now this brush has gone really fluffy, so I might try this one. Bear with me a minute. I've got a wet brush and I need to dry it. It's my, my fluffing brush. Still a bit wet, but okay. So you just pull, so we pull down and it literally is just straight across. Straight as you can get it really. And that gives you some little reflection lines. Remember this is very distant, so we can do some closer reflections here. That's very distant. So you don't see a lot of reflections back there. So let's do something here, let's do some land. Okay, let's think, let's plan something here, maybe a bit of land coming in there. Some, I wanna get some green. Green and, green and black, I think. All right, we can have a bit of land coming across here. So we can just sort of tap a little bit of land in here. We can have some trees there. We can lift up here. Let's just do this here. We're just making some land. There. This is quite close, this bit. And you can pull down here, look. And this is where we'll get some more reflections and stuff like that. Let's have some trees as well. Okay. Um, uh, Lucy, that's beautiful. Um, see, when I draw, I could draw for hours. Art really makes, it does, it really makes you happy. Absolutely. That is awesome, says Steve. Thank you so much. But I reckon a bit of practice, I could do it. Yes, you can. You can do it. You can do it, and don't get frustrated. You'll find when you start painting how happy it makes you, and it's you'll find that it just it, you, when you when you're doing it, it just really does 
you forget everything that's everything in life and you just you know you just do it but well, i can do some little flicks of grass here look we can see stuff here just flicking up with a fan brush really you can see some little things going on here right that'll do right let's put a tree in shall we so i'm gonna put some well yeah i can put some green in um, might just use a bigger fan brush for this. Yeah, we've got a bigger fan brush here. I've got some um, some sap green, a nice dollop of sap green. I need to organise my brushes because I'm getting a bit. Yeah, so I've got some sap green here on a nice big fan brush. Let's quickly put you. Once you learn these trees, it's a good. It's a good feeling because they go on so quick and uh, Naila just watching is therapeutic thank you so much Naila and thank you for those gifts once again it's really nice to have you here right let's go let's start here first if I have one here right in front of the clouds so you can just put a little tap in like that and then you can put these lovely trees in, load up with paint, and you can put highlights on here, we can add some more, right it gets darker down here, okay, so you've got your basic shape there, we're going to put some highlights on there as well, and let's have one, let's have them at a slight angle, maybe not too much in front of that, we'll just have a smaller one, bit of an angle this one's a bit younger there. so we've got some some distance and we've got some close stuff going on now we can do the same over this side and I can put all different kinds of stuff there probably put some Actually, let's do that now, shall we? I'll take some uh, brown. Take some, I think, yeah, Van Dyke brown I've got here. Van Dyke brown. If we try to do the reflections, then we'll move on to the next one. Okay. So I've just got some Van Dyke brown. We can lay a little bit of land in here, look. It's got to move the board again. Well, the main mountains are superb. Thank you so much, much appreciated. If you've missed any of this, you can watch it back on YouTube. Um, probably tomorrow or the next day, depends on when I get to edit the video. So I'm just gonna lay a bit of land on here. give them some highlights so I'm gonna mix the brown up with a little bit of white put some highlights on there I'm run, running out of palette now guys <laughs> uh, yes this is on canvas I've run out of super super this is just amazing oh thank you so much yes this is on canvas if you missed the mist <laughs> I want to buy this picture, I'll be looking on your store. Oh, Stevie, thank you so much. Um, do it, you can email me, uh, which is visualfusions at yahoo.com, which you can get from my link. I think you can message now, message me on um, TikTok as well. I think messages are open to everyone um, on TikTok. You can send me a message and we can talk about a price. Okay, so here. You see that? I've got a bit of white here with the brown. I haven't cleaned the knife. And you see how marbly it is? Just don't mix it right up. Cut a little roll of paint. And then just lay some highlights on there. There you go. 
go. Right, we can bring a bit of that down. See if I get the right brush. Um, I think I'll just use this one. So you can bring a little bit of this brown down now. Brown down. Just a little bit onto there. And you've got them trees there, so we can just dab that in there where the tree would be. Oops, I better, I better lock this down again, otherwise I'm gonna lose, lose the painting. Yes, I have a YouTube nailer, yes. Um, so you can watch all of my live streams back. So if you ever miss any, you can watch them all back. So somewhere on here is my, pro. I think it, on, on my phone, it's up there. So you click that, it takes you to my profile on TikTok. And underneath that, there's a link, and that link takes you to, well, wonderful places. It's Instagram, YouTube, support me, um, my eBay shop. Um, so yeah, and with YouTube, when you subscribe, um, you can, when you watch the videos back, this is why I recommend it, you can watch them back and zoom in. You can zoom in to what I'm doing. You can go right up. So it's a really good little feature, especially if you want to learn to paint. So we got, these are going to be reflections in a bit. I'm just putting there. I won't, I won't do the water bit until I do the reflections, which I'm going to do now. So I want a bit of yellow. A bit of yellow. Actually, maybe yellow ochre. Let's try a bit of yellow ochre. And... We we'll use this brush that I had it on. This might be just, maybe just a hint of yellow as well. I thought grey and white, but it's brown and white. Yes, it is. Yes. Oh my goodness, those um, mountains look so real. It looks like 3D. Naila, thank you so much for subscribing. Naila, I love you. Mwah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, it's really nice to have you on board. Yes, the mountains have come out pretty well. So I've got yellow, yellow ochre, and I'm just gonna tap here. You can do whatever color you like, really. And you just tap some, oh, one thing I forgot, okay. There's a little bit of paint thinner when you're doing this, because that, that really does help stick, help you stick it on, help the paint sticks. So just a little bit of paint thinners and you get your highlights so you just tap them on like that. Just think where the highlights would be on top of these leaves. Thank you so much again for subscribing. I really appreciate all your support. So it gets, it gets a little bit darker down the bottom so it won't do too much down the bottom. We'll do a similar thing the other side of the of the picture. I'll keep that dark in there. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to do as well. This is a happy accident, right. I, I'll have to sort it out, but this is what I should have done. Okay, I'm gonna do it now, but it's okay. These, these need some, they need some stalks, which I've completely forgot to do. And then you do your highlights. You can scratch some little twigs in there. Just using, look at that, just using the palette knife. You've got some little things growing there. Right, and then you, you do that and then do the highlights. But I, I forgot, because I was chatting away, I've been excited. Naila's been making me excited. There. So you can just make, make out the trunk here and there. Well, I've got the highlight colour on here now, so I can dab a little bit down here. This is water, remember, so it doesn't really matter too much. Just a little dabble here and there. Right, let's do this water reflections. Uh, good night, all. Thanks for sharing your amazing work. Good night, Naila. Thank you so much for all your support tonight. Much appreciated. We're going to do the blending now. Naila, hopefully I'll catch you next time. What kind of paint is it? Is it oil? Yes, it is. Yes. 
I need to do more painting on canvas. I need to practice m m more in the advice. Lucy, just keep going for it. Maybe paint along with me on YouTube. You can pause, zoom in, that kind of stuff. Okay. All right, we're gonna pull down here. Watch this, this is the reflections. Who was it? I think it was Steely wanted to do the reflections. Is this the three system at an inverter? No, it's it's literally just made up. <laughs> I literally just making it up. So some paintings I do, and some people say is that is that that place. But um, no, I'm just I've just made it up. So straight down. This is quite close. This one, so you can really muck about with the reflections here. Straight down, and then straight across. And there you have instant reflections. You can come the other way, you can move this paint, you see, this moves as you're doing it. You can just do it until you're happy. This is literally so light, so light, so light. Uh, I'm a complete beginner, me too, I was last year. So you've got a bit of reflections there. We'll put a nice little, I'll show you here as well while I'm on this side, you can put a nice little water line in using a bit of uh, white. You can use magic white for this. I might use a bit of magic white. Magic white is basically white, but it's been thinned down a little bit with some oil. So there, uh, it just makes it easier for doing like reflections uh, of water line. Let's see if we can get up to 20K, guys. <laughs> I'm keeping you busy. So here we go, we're gonna put a nice little water line in. Keeping absolutely straight. I always do this bit with it loaded up really lightly. Cause I, you can tend to overdo this. And this is where you can sort of put, you know, Little, little lines in that help give that water effect. Not too mad. Just try to lightly do it. There we go. Right, so that area is done. Let's have something over here. Maybe a bit closer to this one. Or further away. I don't know whether to have the island there or bring it forward, maybe there, so it's a bit further away, mid-range sort of thing. Let's just tap a bit of this in and see where we go. Maybe it comes out around there. Somewhere mid-range. So all I'm doing is tapping a bit of green there on the brush. And then we'll do our mud. We'll do our little banks there. All right, let's have some happy trees again. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of, these ones are a little bit further away, so I'm gonna add a little bit of gray to the green. So it's a little bit darker than just the green. Not much difference, but it just helps give the distance of, the feeling of distance. Okay. So, let's think what we're gonna have here. Let's have one here. another tree there let's have three here three trees we'll have one we'll have the big we'll have a big one there and then maybe one here this one's a bit bigger just tap tap there and that give you your outline of the tree and then just push them out the fan brush And let's have a nice big one here. See, they're a little bit darker, a little bit. He's a big one, he lives there. 
Okay. This one comes all the way down. Right, now, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the trunks in, not like last time, because I forgot. <laughs> so a bit of brown on the palette knife. With a little sort of hint of white as well. You're not going to see much here, but I just used the palette knife to put these these in. Better clamp that back because I don't want to lose the painting. And here, sometimes you can have it sticking out the top. Nice little tree trunk. And then you do your highlights afterwards. There might be a few little sticks and stuff in there, you know. So it gives, gives the suggestion of a bit more. While I'm here, while I'm here, let's just put the highlights on. Jamie, how you doing? Thank you for sharing the live, much appreciated. Okay, again, we're going into this highlight colour. And now the tree trunk's on there, just tap some little highlights. And that really does bring the trees alive. There. Are you self-taught? Yes, I am. I, I, I started last year in 2022, March, and I done about three paintings and then built this little summer house that I'm in so I could paint, which took about three or four months. And then I've just been doing it twice about twice a week. Um, I'm paint, I've always been a paint and decorator all my life. I've always been around paint. And I just, I think I've always obviously used, I know it's different, but maybe it's just sort of, I really enjoy it. And obviously I watch a lot of, a lot of Bob Ross and, but yeah, I think he's got like 35 series and I'm on like series seven now. Duncan, where have you been, mate? Where have you been? You are brilliant. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Right, let's lay some land in. I've always enjoyed art. I just didn't do it. I left school and didn't do it. And then now I'm this age and I'm just like, you know, you've got to think of thing, other stuff to do. Right, just before I do that, I'm going to pull some of this down. Making sure I've got the right brush. Let's just pull some of this green down. We know... We know there's some trees there. Let's bring that tree down. Yes. With reflections, you just need to put the basics. Let's have him coming right down there. So these are just gonna be reflections. See? Pull some of that down. Straight down. Okay, and then some highlight colour, which is here. Who do I watch? Uh, Bob Ross I watch. I started watching him... I started watching him probably a couple of years ago, and then this year I decided to give it a go. Another great one to watch who taught him was Bill Alexander. So that's another great one to watch. Okay, so we've got that going on. Let's lay some land in just before I make reflections there. because so I want to pull a little bit of brown down. Brown down. <laughs> uh, on YouTube, yeah, yeah, he's, he's on YouTube as well. He's not with us anymore, he died a long time ago. Um, unfortunately, I'd love to have met him. He just seems like a really nice person as well. Well, I'll just lay some land in there. Again. Just pulling down with the palette knife, laying some landing. And we want some little highlights on there. Again with that, I'm using that marbly, that marbly white and you know, white and sort of brown here. And then we're just gonna lay some highlights on. There. 
All right, let's do the, um, a lot of people's favorite. Do you do any sketching? No sketching, no. I felt like it sometimes, but I've never done any sketching. I just, I, I just do it. Okay, so, straight down. I'm one of them people though, that can see a job that needs doing finished. I can see it finished before it's done. Okay, so I've got the basic colours there now. Maybe just a little bit more... Um, oh, wrong brush. I know I need a little bit more dark around here. Right, so I'll pull that back down. Straight down. This is literally quite light. I'm doing this quite lightly. So that's straight down. You see how that's pulling into the paint there? And then straight across. And there you have your instant water reflections. Yeah, I'm quite happy where I've put them actually. I'm feeling, I am feeling though. I'm quite happy with having that one set back a bit. I'm feeling another little tree in there. And another one there. Just the top poking through. Okay. And another one there. I just think a little cluster look better than just sort of three lonely trees there. I think that really. And of course, little bits of highlights, don't really need any trunks on these because they're so distant. You can feel some of that up a little bit. Because there's a bit of a cluster there now, just feel some of that light up. Maybe we can just put a little little twigs there oh I keep forgetting to oh drop the brush drop the brush on the floor let's see if we can get up to 20k before I go off guys because this one's basically done um, let's see if we can zoom up to 20k quickly my highest is I think it was 45 well I just realized that's not clamp down, I've got to clamp that down. I'll just put this twig on it, <laughs> it moves. So we're gonna alter that, alter that tree a little bit now. We're gonna have them a little bit higher. Just put some highlights on there. And a little, a little tiny twig poking out the top. That's what I wanted to do, but the board moved. There. Right, let's have a look at this then. We got some on the on the right hand side here. I think I could do probably something behind there as well. Just the edge of a tree um, that's off the canvas. You can't see it all, so we'll just do that quickly. So there's one that lives about here, and he's coming down here. That easy. Okay, guys. Right, has anyone been, has anyone been here from the start? That'd be interesting to know. I think it's been about, how long's it been? About an hour, just over an hour, hour? hour and 20 maybe right you can take your palette knife and again you can just scratch some little stuff in here some twigs and it almost looks like you painted all them some lots of little wispy stuff going on that really does give a bit of depth actually Or you could smut in a Sasquatch on the right arm. 
A uh, Sasquatch. What is Sasquatch? A Sasquatch. I don't know what a Sasquatch is. <laughs> Should I know what it is? I don't know what a sca I can't Google it because my, my phone's filmed this. It took just over an hour to paint this. Yeah, I guess. Uh, what's the time? Well, including the chat and everything, I think I started about 10 past 10. So, what's the time now? Oh, Bigfoot! <laughs> yeah. Right, we can put... Well, I could put... Just a little bit of... Um, actually, I don't know if I want to put land there or not at the back. I, I think maybe just a bit of white. You know where the small trees are? I think I'll just try and put a little bit of a water line in. Not too much, because it's distant. Like, proper distant. Oh, do I do, do I put a bit of land there or not? It's so distant, it just, you know. Okay, yeah, so just over an hour, basically. Something like that, about an hour and 10. Hour and 20, yeah, hour and 10 minutes, something like that. Right, let's put some more water lines in. Again, I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna decide it, I'm gonna put a hint of land at the back hint of land. I don't want the same brown that I've just put on here. I'm going to dull it down a little bit, which is quite easy. I've got some grey and some brown. Just mix them together. I don't want it to show like the front ones. And it literally is going to be a, like a line and then we'll do like a water line. Just see how that comes out. Just a little bit, you can just make out a little bit of land. Okay. Well, this, that obviously doesn't have to be straight, but when you're putting the water lines on, which is the white, the magic white, or you can use just normal white, is very, very, I want to make sure it's clamped. Okay, here we go, just a little tiny water lines. That's the, this is the bit you need straight, no matter what really, because the water, water does lay flat. And I'm putting it on very, very small amounts because it's so far away, you won't see too much. I think that would probably do. Okay. And then let's put some water line here. Like I say, I'm putting this on very, very, very lightly indeed. Oops, that's what I didn't want to happen. I need it there though, because otherwise the bottom of the thing gets in the way. Let's clamp it, clamp, clamp, clamp. Okay, that should do. Okay guys, we're not far away from done now, so thanks for all being here tonight. Really appreciate it. Just put some nice little water lines in now. I always do this bit really gently, so I do miss a, miss a couple of times, but I'd rather just do it gently than, and little ones, little ones, the further you get away, because obviously it's distance, right? And they get bigger as they come. And this really does help with the water. So that really does help it look um, <laughs> kind of watery now. I want to try and sometimes you can pull, you can pull it along like it sparkles. So I try and get a few. Okay. 
keep it straight, keep it straight. I'm trying to keep it straight. Right, I'm gonna sign this one off, guys. There we go. Right, I'm gonna stand back and look at it, look at it. Uh, Duncan, one of your best, love. <laughs> he says that every night. <laughs> it's so funny. It is one of my best, though. I must admit. One of one of my best of my best. I'm I'm getting good with the mountains. I think. I need to just go over it and think. Have I missed anything? You know, is there any places that need a a little touch in or a flick there? You know, I like them twigs there. I'll show you a close look at this, guys. But just before I do that. I'm going to get the old script brush out. Thank you, this is great. It was great watching. Oh, it's really nice to have you here, Steve. And if you give it a go, please let me know. And if you want to talk about uh, buying this painting, then let us know. You At least you've watched it being painted tonight. Right, so I've got a little bit of red. Yeah, you can message me directly on TikTok, I think, now. But if not, it's visualfusions at yahoo.com. So I've got some... Uh, paint thinners and some white. Might just go into a bit more paint thinners actually. I've had the same little bottle of paint thinners for nearly a year. It's lasted well. So. Um, oh, that'd be great. Uh, I, I, I just post them out and um, I obviously su supply a tracking number. So yeah, I've thinned this down and you can see how thin it is. It's almost like water. And then you try and get it into a point just to sign it off. So I'm gonna sign down here. Remember this is, this is all wet on wet paint. So wet, it was a it was a canvas that had a coat of gesso on it, which is water-based, and that dries before I come on stream. And then as I come on stream, I give it a coat of um, liquid magic white, which is white thinned down, basically. And then you, you've got your wet grey on, your wet white, your wet blue. Everything's wet on wet on wet. Jerry! Hey, I was on my mediumship course. Well, Jerry, we missed you. We missed you, Jerry. I, I was wondering all stream. Yeah, you have 20K. Thank you so much, everyone. Yeah, we've reached 20K. That's amazing. So yeah, Jerry, I hope that went well, but we definitely, definitely missed you. We had a good stream though. We had a good stream. How have you been, Jerry? Oh my God, I just, I just done something really weird. I just smelt the cat. Right, this cap, and I was thinking which paint does it go on? And I was smelling, I was smelling in case it smelt of green. <laughs> what does green smell like? <laughs> I'm going nuts. Hang on, wait there, where's the black cap? I'll see what that smells like. Does it smell of black? <laughs> uh, JXR, just came back, looks amazing. Thank you very much, nice to have you back. I'm going to show you a closer look in a minute, guys. Well, I'll sort these lids out later. Look at the state of me tonight. I'm getting worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That definitely smells like red. Yeah, that's definitely red. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Just really busy with work and a few projects. Yeah, Jerry, I know you've been so busy. Right, let's give you a closer look, guys. <laughs> That's the chair making the noise as well before you say anything. It's not like an end of live stream far. It is the chair. Right, everyone say hello YouTube because you're going to see yourself in a minute. Right, everyone say hello YouTube because this is where I read the comments. You guys are going to be famous on YouTube. 20,000, yeah, 20k likes without me. I know, I know. So get going. Let's see if we can get up to 30 before I leave in like a couple of minutes, Jerry. You've got 10,000 to get. 
Yogi Bear, hello, how are you doing? The water looks amazing, yeah, thank you so much. I'm really getting confident with the mountains. Uh, Duncan Lung, hello, Porktube. I don't know. Duncan, it's YouTube. You've been on the wrong site all this time. <laughs> right, okay, let's get try and get some light on here without sort of the reflections. Quite happy there's nice little clouds as well, distant little clouds. So you've been really close to the painting, probably about a foot and a half to two foot away. So yeah, you see the shine there as well. There you go, guys. Yeah, I come on, I didn't really know what I was gonna paint. I knew I was gonna do some mountains because I love practicing them at the moment. Uh, this painting is brilliant. Jerry, thank you so much. June, Berry, you're still here. Lovely to have you here. So I've got, Jerry, you've got some company. You've got, we've got three, I think we've got two subscribers um, tonight. Or, we, no, one tonight and one the other night. So we got a little, we've got three subscribers now. So that's very nice. We've got a little family going on. Jamie the Slug, you did miss it. How did you miss it? And I was wondering where you were. Yeah, we just finished, Jamie. But don't forget, it'll be uploaded to YouTube so you can watch it back. And you can zoom in as well on YouTube. You can pinch the screen and zoom right into what I'm doing. So that's good. Oh, that's good news. It's been lonely. Yeah, I know. Yeah, see, Jerry's been my subscriber for, you know, quite some time. And now we have three. So we've got a little family going on. <laughs> Guys, everyone that's been here tonight, say goodnight to me in the in the chat. Because I'm going to go. It'd be nice to say goodnight and um, see you still here. And uh, I just want to say thank you for the amazing gifts tonight. Um, I, I, I can't. I don't even know what that um, that that um, mini lion or whatever it was. The cat. I don't even know how much that was, but that was so cool to see up on screen. I hope that it's recorded it. And to have you all here tonight. It's been really good and a, a nice, like Stevie, um, I know that you've been inspired tonight and that's great and I'll, I can help you as much as I can. Um, and it's nice to have you, nice to have met you and have you here, all you new ones and everyone else that's here. Uh, Katrina, good night. Thank you for being here. So great, how hasn't this blown up? I don't know. <laughs> we got to 700 and something viewers I think at one point but everyone sort of goes I think they like some people like watching the mountains being done and then they'll move on or whatever but I try and put videos up quite a lot so right I'm trying not to miss anyone out thank you Knight have a great one thanks Steve um, looks amazing says JX thank art oh, thank you Jim Berry good night Jimmy uh, Jimmy Jamie the Slug, bye bye mate. Sorry for not being there. That's okay, mate. We'll catch you next time. And I hope you're happy with your painting. It looks the little video you sent me of it's in its little home looks good. It really does. That'll be well looked after, I know. <laughs> right, thanks guys. Lots of love. Uh Duncan, night babe. <laughs> night babe. <laughs> Do you do this daily? No, it's literally when I can. Um, normally, It's been normally a couple of times a week, if not more. I want to do it more. It's just literally having the funds for the canvas and the paint, basically. Um, you know, and how tired I am. Like, so it just depends. So, yeah. But I love doing it. I'd love to do it full time. But I don't think, I don't think I'll get to that. Get to that. But I'd love to do it full time. Yeah. Right. Good night, guys. Thanks for saying good night. Lots of love. Check out my videos when I'm gone. You can comment, like on them, give them a push. That'll help. And uh, yeah. Until next time. In the night. Ta da. Bye 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 bye. Actually, before I go, I'm going to do a little YouTube shot. So a bit of a. Oh, look. Look at the distance. Look. That's my little workstation. Got two lights on the go.
that make a good YouTube shot. There you go. Right, good night, I'm going. <laughs> the mist on the mountains is so good. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah, the mist, the layers between really help it. And you see the white? The white gives light on the mountain as well. Right, I've got to go. See you later, guys. Thanks again. Lots of love. See you next time.